team. So today we're going to talk about what is love. What is love? A lot of guys have the misunderstanding of love. So we're going to look at the word of God and we're going to talk about love and how it applies in our lives. So I put a post on Facebook and I said, a man that loves you will never cheat on you. My husband talked about this already, so I'm not going to talk about what he talked about. But then I also put a man that loves you will not beat on you. And some women are like, hmm. So we're going to talk about love. See, the word of God says in 1 Corinthians 13, verse number 4, charity suffered long and is kind. Or love is patient and kind. So if a man loves you, if a woman loves you, they're going to be patient with, patient with you. They're going to have an understanding with you. They're not going to pressure you to have sex with them when you have a standard. And the standard is the word of God. All right, they're not going to pressure you to do something that's going to cause you to compromise your walk with God because they have a flesh, a flesh problem, because they have a, a lust issue, because love is patient and love is kind. Love is not jealous or envious. All right, so if you love someone, you want them to be their all in God. You want them to fulfill purpose and destiny. They're not going to be jealous because God is using you, because you're anointed, because God gave you the idea of the vision and they didn't give it to them. That's not love. They're not going to be jealous. They're going to say, okay, woo, look at my man, preach. Or look at my, my, my wife, look at my woman of God, preach. And then they're going to support you. They're going to be your super fan. They're not going to you know, try to tear you down, pray against you, pray that the vision don't work. They're going to support the vision. They're going to be your backbone of the vision other than the Holy Ghost. Love does not brag. It, it doesn't say, I did this, I did this. When I met you, all the only thing you had to your name was some, some pair of socks with holes in it or some underwear with holes in it. You know, that's not love. It doesn't matter what you did for a person, what they did for you. They're not going to boast and brag. When I met you, you only had 50 cents to your name. You know, that ain't love. Then say, okay, yeah, I love you, but whatever. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter what you do for them or what they did for you. You know, love is going to build you up. Love is going to edify you. Love is going to make you feel like you're the best thing since sliced bread. You know, it's going to make you feel like, whoo, you got what it takes. You know, even if you didn't feel pretty or beautiful, you know, the man God has for you is going to make you feel like you, like you got it going on, right? So, it, it, when, I, when I feel rough and I feel like, oh, I didn't put no makeup on. I didn't put no makeup on today. My husband still loves me. He still tells me I'm fine and still kisses on me. I'm like, God, is this real? Is he for real? He said I look good. My hair's sticking up and looking some kind of way. Okay, God. You know, so I got to learn to receive it. Okay? So, love. Love is just making you become a better you. Love is not proud or arrogant. It's not conceited. It's not puffed up. You know? See, some people, they feel like love is all about them they don't have uh, any consideration for the person's feelings they're dealing with very selfish uh they don't care about the children the children's involved you know they're only about them about their career about what benefits them they don't even consider the cost of the family how how is this going to affect my family can I go and travel all over the world? How what what effect is this going to have on my family? You know, if I make this financial decision today, what effect is this going to happen on my family? Love considers that. Love considers your feelings. You know, love is not rude. Love is not rude. I'm saying it again. Love is not rude. You know, it's not disrespectful. And you know, we we can't, we got to be patient, women. We have mouths nagging you know uh sometimes you feel like you got to have the last say so you know men you got to learn how to receive from your wife because she's your helpmate you know love is not rude it's a way to say things that you could get your point across without being rude about it you know sometimes women you want to blame hormones can i be honest you want to blame hormones oh this is the time of the month but even though it's the time of the month you got to make sure if you got an attitude if your flesh is acting up you go in your prayer closet a little bit longer. Spend more time with God. See, I know when I got to go spend more time with God. Because I'm like, ooh, 
I don't, I don't like this flesh. It's rising up. Lord, let me just bring this flesh underneath subjection. Let me push back the plate. Let me, you know, instead of trying to watch TV with the family, you know, let me skip this and let me go into prayer or let me wake up early to meditate or something, spend more time with you. Because I don't want to walk around here with an attitude because the old Kim, the fleshed out Kim had an attitude, but the new Kim, I'm supposed to be a new creature in Christ. I don't need to have an attitude because guess what? Love is not rude or disrespectful. If I walk around here with an attitude, I cannot love my husband the way to God. The way the way the word of God tells me that I need to love my husband. If I walk around here with an attitude, I cannot love my children the way the word of God commands me to love my children. See, love is not selfish. I think I hit on that already. Amen. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's time for some of us to die to self, to die to flesh. Amen. Because it's about him. It's about him. All right. Love does not get upset with others when people don't want to do what you want to do. Amen. That's called control. That's called manipulation. Amen. See, when you love someone or someone loves you and you, you, you are together, you're with this person, then consider that person a gift. Amen. So it doesn't matter if they get on your nerves or how upset or something may, may happen. You know, guess what? You know, you, you don't control them. Amen. You don't own them. God, they belong to God, and God placed that person in your life, amen, to be a blessing unto you. All right, so love is not easily angered or provoked. You know, God don't want you in a relationship where you have to walk on eggshells, where you can't be you. Everything you say is going to tick the person off. Everything you do is going to tick the person off. Who who wants that? Keep your love. If that's, if, if that's what your love entails, keep it. I, I don't want it. All right, so love, you know, doesn't it's not easily angered. All right, we know God is patient. And if we're supposed to be children of God, we got to we got to produce the fruits of the spirit. Amen, which is patient. Love, which is love. Love is a fruit of the spirit, right? We got to pr produce it. All right, you, you it, it's wrong to treat your spouse worse than you treat your coworker or someone else that you may do business with. You know, it's wrong for you to take out your frustrations on your spouse. It is wrong. You know? Treat that man with the uh, treat that man with the utmost respect. Treat your woman, your wife, as with the uh, utmost respect. All right, love takes no pleasure in wrongdoing. This ain't tit for tat. This ain't I'm getting you back for last week. You know, oh okay. You know, and just be evil. Like I'm gonna put something in your food, or you know, I'm just being honest because people do crazy stuff. You know, I, I'm going to slice your tires and do all kind of crazy stuff. That that ain't love. How, what, how's that love in that? No, it's crazy. Love does not do wrong. Amen. Love doesn't keep a, a record of wrongdoing or trying to get each other back. That's not love. Why would you want to be with somebody that you're scared of? That you're going to sleep with one eye open. Uh, now nah, you can have that. You know, that, that ain't love. Love ain't keeping records of wrongdoing. Oh, on July 31st, 2014, you did this. Oh, August 31st, you did this. Oh, May the 5th, you did this last year. Who wants to be in a relationship with that kind of person? Come on now, let it go. Forgive them. Some 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 of you guys are sick in your body because you're holding on to baggage. Holding on to things people did for you, did to you like 20 years ago. You know, let it go. So you can be free. God wants to give, make us free, right? All right. Love is beautiful. Love, I love this. Amen. Love doesn't rejoice in iniquity, but it, it rejoices in truth. All right. So and it's beautiful. Love, love, it, um, it bears all things. Amen. That means God's going to send you someone. That's going to love you, be with you through thick and thin, be with you in the good times, in the low times, be with you and happy for you. And it's like, this is a gift. You know, love believes all things and never quits. Love will make you get up every day and fight for your relationship, fight for your marriage. Love hopes all in all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Love is saying, I'm going to make it to the finish line. I'm not going to be like these other couples in the world that take marriage for granted. Uh, that, you know, have my standards according to the world system. No, I'm going to stick to the scripture, stick to the word of God. 
Amen. I'm not going to quit because the love that we're supposed to have, it never ends, you know, and it, and it endures all things. Amen. So this is love. Love is not going to cheat on you. Love ain't going to kill you. Love ain't going to destroy you. Some people say love hurts. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Amen. You know, some people say, well, he loved me, you know, so I'm going to do this. You can't buy love. If the person don't want to be with you, don't buy their love. You you can't buy a person a car and expect them to be with you. Amen. You can't buy someone, take them on a shopping spree and expect them to, to actually love you. That's crazy. Amen. So some women out here, you're compromising, you know, okay, well, I, I give him my body so he loves me. But what happens if he's doing that to, this, to 10 other women? That's not love. So love is going to wait on you. Love is going to respect you. Love is going to honor you. You know, the person that God has for you is going to treat you like a king or a queen. They're going to thank God for the gift. Amen. You're going to feel love. You're going to feel respected. Even through the bad days, you, all relationships have up and downs and good and bad days. And sometimes there's transitions, but it is the love of God that's going to keep you guys strong. A three strand cord is not easily broken. All right, you guys. So this is love. God doesn't want you to have a, an, an, he doesn't want you to have an unhappy home where there's tension and stress. You can't get alone. You, you, you fight every day. That's not what God wants. You know, God calls us to be peacemakers. You want to know the sons of God? To be peacemakers, right? To be peacemakers. Amen. God tells us to be peaceable, to live peaceably with all men. And it starts right here in your home, right? It starts at home. So if you want to go out there and portray something to the world, start it at home first. Amen. So if you do it at home first, you can go ahead and make an impact on the world around you. All right, team. I love you. This is...